Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can smell it, Daddy. Then would you open the door? It would be rude not to, wouldn't it? It's upside down. Is it? Yeah. Subscribe now. Good morning. Good morning, all. Good morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday, and it's no auction day, but it was last night. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed Tuesday's video. Um, it was a little bit more entertaining than the uh, than the previous ones, I think. Cause yeah, there was a bit more going on. A bit more going on. We nearly got killed. Yeah, <laughs> and that as well. Bloody hell! If only we filmed that. As you know, we had two two Fiat's pop up at the same time. One was a Fiat pop and one was a lounge. Oh yeah, it was. Fiat pop. Pop up. Mm. Yeah. Pop up and lounge around. Well, we would have been lounging around if we didn't go to the auction. But we just popped down there. We did. <laughs> we Ted. We Ted. We've got to stock up and when they're there, you've got to have them because we haven't been able to we, get any, as you know, for... We've had a dry spell, haven't we? It's been about six weeks and we haven't found one. No. So two come along. And we thought, right, snap them up, and uh, and we've got stock. So the link yeah. for the website is in the description down below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to click that subscribe button because a lot of you are still not subscribed. What was that? Subscribe button and the bell and the like. And let's, just leave us a little comment as well, and we'll get back to you. Let's try and get four hundred likes on this video uh, because we normally around 300 so let's boost it up a little bit so everyone if you can just take that few seconds just to click the like button and uh, show your appreciation right first things first so i've got to book the red fiat in for air motor yeah, well the last time it passed with no advisory so fingers crossed <coughs> it'll go through again hello it's sarah from valley hello, yeah are you can you? Uh, oh, can you hear me now? Yeah, that's it. Right. Uh, could I book a Fiat 500 in for an MOT, please? Yeah, of course. Uh, as soon as possible. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. And so this is Friday at twelve. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yep. All good. Alright, see you Friday. See ya, bye. You know when we're at auction next time, Greg? You know because your eye, eye, like you bid with your eyebrows, you're like that. You do that. But your eyebrows? Your eyebrows? Eyebrows? <laughs> <laughs> your eyebrows are very, very non existent. <laughs> so. Can I dye them? Or we could just draw them on with a sharpie. You can have any colour you want. Blue. Coloured eyebrows. Biddy yeah. eyebrows. Yeah, should we try it now? No, we shan't. <laughs> yeah, so next time I'll get me um What in case it misses the bead light because you can't see my eyebrows. You can't see your eyebrows. Especially in that lighting. You don't want to do that. Well you just nod or move your eyebrow. Terrible. Ooh. Terrible again, windy, wet. Well, it's just normal now, isn't what it? What storm is it? Kathleen? Kathleen. Kathleen. Caitlin. Caitlin. Kathleen. <laughs> Get the Kathleen. <laughs> On the pitch, we now have. We now have. We now have two red Fiat 500s. We have a mint. Fiat 500, we have the black Twin Air, we have the black Peugeot 208, we have the VW Crafter, which is up for sale, perfect uh, for the summer months coming up. Yeah. I think we're going to have a lovely summer this year. Hopefully. Fingers crossed, I have my hopes. Uh, high hopes. High hopes. Yeah. High. High hopes. hopes. High. <laughs> Mark 1 Fiesta. And um, we've got the Mark 1 Fiesta and, and the we've Freight got the Freight Rover. Rover. Yeah, so we've got plenty to be uh, getting on with. Mm -hmm. So if anyone's interested in anything that we've got, give us a call. And um, if you're we'll, a subscriber, we'll do you an extra special deal. I can't get them all on the website today. Just do your best. But I can get the mint one on today. 
the red one will probably be on tomorrow. Well, the mint one, the mint one, we know that there is an issue somewhere on it. I think it's with that blue MA. Blue and mint. Yeah. I think there's a problem with that, maybe. I'm guessing. You've got to plug that in today. I, I have got to plug it in as soon as I get five minutes. It's just horrible out there. I don't want to be. Uh, <coughs> It needs a wash as well, and I haven't. Um, I've just take your sponge out, it's plenty of rainwater. Looking at it, the way that the lights were flashing on and off, and so on, it looks like there is. It is, could possibly be something to do with that. Blue and me. But we'll see. I've got someone coming out. He hasn't got back to me yet. But a uh, diagnostics guy will just come and plug in. That could be him now as we speak. Uh, apart from that, everything else, I think, there is a light bulb out on that, a bright light. It's bright light, passenger side. Yeah, uh, but I think everything else, I mean, drove absolutely perfect, stopped perfect. There is receipts for that one for new clutch. Mm -hmm. That one, I think, has also had a new battery, a new container. injector. Have you bought them up with you? Yeah, I've had to, haven't I? How oh, did you? Uh, so it's had a replacement battery, a gear change cable, it's also just been recently serviced in February. Yeah, it's just had a full service. And March the 1st, it had a new N1 injector. So it's had new clutch kits, had gear oil change, engine oil change, oil filter, air filter, spark plug, pollen filter, and consumables. Yeah. What's consumables? I don't know. Could be anything. So it's had a bit of money spent on it. Yeah. It's had in the last February and then March, it's had six. It's had it all done this year. Nearly £900, pound, yeah. Yeah, this Seven year. March it was. So that ain't too bad, is it? No. And it's a beautiful colour. It's mean, a lovely colour. We see one driving past all the time. I know, I know. I can't, I can't get my breath on that. It's like I haven't seen one of them for sale anywhere. And then we see that one driving around everywhere, and we like, oh, like that, like that, like that. Keep spotting it, off. yeah. Keep spotting it at the corner of our eye. Oh, there it is again. And then one comes up, and so like we, it'd be rude that too, wouldn't it? Eighty thousand miles. Oh, it hasn't. Still seventy-five thousand miles. Yeah. Seventy-five thousand miles. Yeah. Yeah. Seventy-five thousand. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I thought that was. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so you should be. I did say sorry, but you can't ask me to say it three times. You do, you never say sorry normally. Well, I've said it, so take a picture and remember it. No, I'm not talking into that. Clear up. Yeah, so don't forget if you want to fit 500, you know the people to say. You know the crack. You know the crack, Jack. Right, so while, uh, while I'm at it, just reading through the... What you doing? Bloody hell. What are you doing? I haven't done anything, Greg. You've just blown your bloody trumpet. I can smell it now. <coughs> then would you open the door? Whew. Right, just a quick one. Just reading through the comments and Tom Wall. You know who you are. Thomas Wall. Uh, wants a shout out because he's taking the piss out of me. Haircut. Uh, <laughs> from all the way in Cork in sunny Ireland. Uh, now, Sarah is my hairdresser, so... Listen, you wanted it like that, you got it like that. Mm, I think you went a bit mad with the lawnmower. I don't get paid for it, mind. Thomas Wall, thanks for your... Lovely comments. Lovely comments. <laughs> um, Give it a little fluff up. Little fluff up, look. It'll grow back. Sometimes I need to get the ends off. I was just singing one of your songs from over there as well. Hit it up to the hole, the hole. Hit it up, bum, bum, bum. What's the words? I'm not, I'm not singing it, but that, that ain't the words. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Yeah, tune. Sarah actually knows all the words. She's just sung it to me just before. Now she's gone shy. Oh, you can't sing it. Yeah, but I'm not singing it. Yeah, but I asked if you wanted to sing it. Come on, we can do it together. Ready? Start. Hit it up, 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 she is the bell from Belfast City. But it, uh, Thomas, I think, is from Ireland, no, not Northern Ireland. Uh, so we got that one slightly wrong. Right, so we're currently 
Tuesday afternoon, what is the time? 3 p.m. And the sun's come out. Hello, yeah. It's been tipping it down all day. It's been vile. Windy, wet, horrible, cold, and then three o'clock comes and then the sun comes out. Well, you didn't and it's see. It's quite warm now. You didn't see me, me. You don't try to get the uh, door open. The wind was blowing it back on me. I look like a bright idiot. Just trying to get out the door. Yeah. Um, but the wind's quite strong today. But anyway, we are back on the road, heading down to the auction. So we've got to go and pick the Red Fit 500 up. Oh, ring ring. Time to get that. Yeah, press stop on that. Right, so that's what I was saying. We're on the way down to auction. This is the spot that. Um, oh, I'm the spot. Well, at the end of this bit here is a spot where we nearly had our near-death experience. Now, we've come to the conclusion. What's your conclusion? What do you think happened? Well, I'm there's two things that happen. There's either the first one is, if, if you can see, over the first one, he'd realised he was in the left-hand lane and he had to carry on. Because he used and he'd to be ran able out to carry road. on. Because he yeah. used to be able to carry on. But he might have ran out of road and then come skidding he just comes skidding up over here, didn't he? Yeah, or he was coming down, didn't realise we was all at a standstill, and then swerved and skidded past. I like would that. say that he didn't realise that it just went into it, it, into one lane. Into one lane, because if you haven't been up here for ages, yeah, you'd it still used think to be it two, was the same. Then, yeah, but he was still going very fast. Because it tricked me before. He was going very fast. He was going a bit too fast. Yeah, there. I don't know how. I don't know how. I mean, his brakes must have been good. Well, but I mean, it took, a lot. took him about, I reckon, 10 metres to stop. More? He, yeah. So Enough about it, that. Leave We're it alive. in the comments. How fast you got to be going if it took 10 metres to stop? I can't remember my highway code. So I've just sort of, I bought the keys for that car. I gave them, yeah. I gave, them to, I gave you this, the keys. Yeah, I've got them. Um, I could do with a drink. I'm really parched. And me, again, dry. Dryser. We're going to see how this red one drives. This should drive. This should be immaculate. This is actually booked in for MOT, which you might have heard this Friday. Um, can I have a look over it tomorrow? This Vectra is going through auction next week. We've decided to um, part ways to let go of this now. For some reason, we've become attached to this. <laughs> we just like I think you have. We only bought it for a joke, and like we just we use it every single day. To be fair, it's mate, it's had its use, hasn't it? Yeah. It's served its purpose for the time being. It's a great it's car. Got, a, got us out of a few sticky situations. Good tip vehicle. Huh? Good tip vehicle. Oh, right, yeah. Um, we do need to go to the tip. We do. Oh, um, he went a bit fast. We was. rocked them, didn't yeah, we? Yeah. Ooh, again. again. <laughs> right, let's head on down and we'll go and see what this uh, red fit 500 is like. Yeah, see so what it's all about. I know, got it for the fiesta. Oh, <laughs> That's it. And I brought it in for us. Kept it dry. Yeah. Uh, so, so, how she is. How are you alright? Yeah, you brought it for Yeah. It's upside down. Is it? Yeah. Right. Ignition on. A little bit of a squeak off the starter motor, but that's standard on these. Um, I was just saying to the guy there that moved, the, the driver, he, um, whoever parked this up last night, because we took the keys with us, someone had parked it here, it was in the way, it's been in the way all day. <laughs> and uh, so we've probably been like cost and everything. But well, sorry about that, guys. I didn't realise what was uh, that was going to cause you a, an headache, or potentially. It was lucky, like, they, they haven't brought the stuff in yet, but they were panicking, I think, thinking that it's going to be in the way. Can I do a vehicle score check when it has a lot of <laughs> That Fiesta looks all right, though, doesn't it? Yeah. But that could be a potential candidate. 
คนนี้Thoughts on this goes into gear fine. The uh, oh, there's Sarah. <laughs> Bush. Straight into the side of me. Uh, drives nice. It's a little Fiat 500 pop, which just means 1.2. It's pretty standard. There's no pan roof or nothing like that. Um, it's just the generic Fiat, and it's got no. It's got no Bluetooth either, but it's a cheap alternative. Um, seems to be driving okay at the minute. Gears are working okay. Got 52 miles of fuel left in it, which is a bonus. Uh, it drives nice and straight. Yeah, it's got the grey and beige interior. I can't hear any knocks or bangs. It seems. stable um, usually on these they're known for the uh, rear shocks which is I mean really I should have them in stock because they go that often back seats are nice and tidy the headlining's tidy it's got the red dashboard on obviously colour coded to match the outside of the vehicle like, uh, like most of them and yeah Another decent buy. They're like they're very responsive. You can feel it if you're going into the bend. You can really throw the car into the bend. You know the steering sort of. You feel like yeah, you're on a track. Um, hello. Hello. Do you want a drink? No, sir. See you in a bit. Okay. Ta-da, bye-bye. Do you want a Have one then. You want one? I don't want one. Okay. Yeah, I'll pull I'll pull over if you want me to. No, I'll just wait till we get home now. Alright then, I'll see you in a minute. I'm in the middle of doing uh, a broadcast. Um, yeah. Alright. Yes. Okay, I'll speak to you in a minute. Bye now. Bye bye. So, before we was interrupted there by our fellow convoy member, uh, yes, yeah, so you can literally throw these into the corner and you can feel that the, you know, the steering's direct with the road. It's like you're on a, you know, in a 125 go-kart on a track. It's ideal for first, uh, first time drivers. And also on the dashboard, it does tell you when to change up a gear. So, if you're learning as well and not quite sure and you forget you're in third and it does say shift up so if you look down at your speed you can see that you do need to you know step up a gear a little bit 
but there's quite good on fuel they're known for doing around about 50 miles to the gallon with the 1.2 engine and uh, cheap road tax and cheap insurance I mean there's no such thing as cheap insurance now is there but this is probably one of the cheapest ones you can get I think it's group 7 which isn't too bad um, I'd like to know what a group She's ringing me again. Hello? I was trying to remind you. Well, it's okay then, yeah. Okay. I'll see you in a bit. Bye now. Bye. Right, Sarah wants a milkshake, right? So, everything's got to stop now because Sarah wants a milkshake. Do you know what I mean? She wants to go over here, look, for one of them milkshakes. So, I'm going to have to pop it. Um, you know, before I know it, she'll be asking me for my card, so I'll have to pay. And, you know, oh, I haven't got any money on me. Can I use your card? Yeah, so that's usually what it is. I mean, she hasn't even turned in yet, so I don't know what she's she's doing. Is she like changed her mind again, maybe? I'm not too sure. Let's see if she's coming down the road because I could have probably. Stopped here for no reason. There she is, look. There she comes. Hello. Yes. She's seen us. So I'm going to probably pull in over here. And await her response. Now, Tara. There you go. She did ask if I wanted anything. Never asked me for any money. So, I can't really complain, can I? No, is he still running? Oh no, it's on start-stop, so it's cut out. Let me see if it starts again. Let's do the window up, just to check the start-stop works. Foot down on the clutch. Oh, and away she goes. Stop-start works as well. Some of these don't work. Some of these are known for not working. Um, but again, there you go, it surprised me. Uh, there's no locking nut with this, but I think it's because it's still rims. There won't be any locking nut key on this vehicle. So if I take my foot off the clutch again, it should cut out shortly. And it starts effortlessly. effortlessly. It's Wednesday, so and it's Wednesday. auction day. Greg thought it was uh, Tuesday. I, I, I did, I lost track of the days. I was like, oh yeah, we've got auction tomorrow. What are we going to film today? And then I was like... Oh, Sarah, what day is it? God, it's Wednesday today, it's auction day. So, we need to do a bit of preparation for tonight. And see what vehicles seven. are going through. There's a lot of vehicles today. There's about... 40, odd. 40 plus main dealer Partexes yeah. of a variation of from Citroen C1 up to BMW M5. Mm. There's, a, there's a variety. A variety and a selection. A variety of vehicles going through tonight. A collation. Ranging from Citroen C1s up to BMW. I like the word collation. It's a collation of many different vehicles okay looking on the weather forecast here yep. is weather with sarah one second today, oh to sarah the weather girl can you stop interrupting please today we have highs of 12 degrees we have rain coming in at 11 only 35 percent but it does go up to 80 percent at two so i'm not coming to work on friday greg good that's not very nice. <laughs> you didn't expect that answer, did you? No, normally you say it, no chance. Mm -hmm. Okay. You heard it from the horse's mouth. I don't have to come in on Friday. I'm just quickly taking a few notes down of what's going on this evening. There's a little Citroen C1, one litre, which we'd be interested in. We're not really going down to buy though tonight, but if the right thing comes up, we'll have a look. Sarah's template uh, Fiesta Z Tech. That's going through. Uh, let's have a look on that. 
it's not Sarah's, but it's the one that Sarah keeps looking at. That's 67,504 miles. Uh, that one looks quite nice actually. It's a Suzuki Swift Sport. Not really into that. But it does look nice. There's a Mini Cooper there. That, that looked nice. That was a nice colour. If you remember, it was a light blue. It was on the last video. Land Rover Freelander. Um, a few Mercedes. It's quite a few. Oh, there's one of them Nissan Cubes. They're funny looking things, aren't they? Nissan Cubes? Yeah. Are they cube shaped? Yeah. And really? Yeah. Is it like a panda? Yeah, like a bigger version of a panda. An old panda. You know, the box. Yeah, with a flat back. Yeah, it's like that. I think it's got flat front as well, if I remember it. I think it's just like a... A box. It's like a window. box on wheels. Um, there's it like a square? Is it like a square shape or is it like rounded? It's rounded. Oh, I was going to say, it would definitely be a box then, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, it's a rounded box. Uh, there's a Q, Q5 going through tonight, 72,000 miles. On a 12 plate, that would have been a nice vehicle to... Uh, I tell you what, we'd have been better off with that than the Range Rover. Um, it says now. Yeah, we've got... Oh, there's a KA. Let's have a look at the KA. That's... Uh, um, Is it an old show? J11. It's on a new show, I think. I think it's a new shape, 11. Uh, TV, 41,000 miles, 41, one, two, three. Oh, one, four, three. Uh, there's an Adam, I'm not keen on the Adams, Pamela. I've just had a message as well from. Can I do it to you? Come. No, because I've got to go out in a bit. Yeah, I'm it, get it don't come off. It will. You know it don't. <laughs> it's setting me up. Uh, we just had a WhatsApp from Paul, I believe. Is it WhatsApp? Paul. Um, in his Range Rover. Ours isn't ready. I, I didn't quite understand the message, but it said uh, Range Rover's finally ready for the pitch, but ours isn't ready. <laughs> I still don't know what's wrong with ours. So we're pulling our air out. That's why I've had to have an air cut because I keep pulling it out with that car. Right, so we're gonna before we head down to auction, we always do our checks and doing our checks we use vehicle score, so we have to vehicle score it. So you head over to www.vehiclescore.co.uk, you enter the reg, click get score, it will then give you a score from one to nine hundred and ninety-nine. This car has done, well, it's got a score of 378. It's a Ford Fiesta. Is it ULES compliant? Yes, it is ULES compliant. You've got the good bits and the bad bits. So you've got, it's a long good bits are long term owner, recent MOC price rate high, mileage between 50 and 80,000, and the average yearly mileage is perfect. The bad bits are there's 20 comments on recent MOTs, over two failed comments on recent MOT, and the vehicle is over 10 years old. If you scroll back up, you have the ultimate report, the salvage report, which you will get 20% off using the code VALUE20. It's untaxed, MOT has got 12 days left on it. The last V5 change was 29 months ago. The average, average miles per year is 4,575. Get an estimated value of the vehicle so you know how much you need to pay for the vehicle. Also, the best bit about this is you do get the uh, MOT history so you can see what it's failed on, the advisors, etc. So don't forget, when you buy a new car, make sure you do your ultimate report or your salvage report using vehicle score. You'll get 20% off using the code VALUE20. And there's also chances for two people to win £600 using the ultimate report. So get over to vehicle school now. Are you still here? You told me to wait here for a week, didn't you? I didn't mean wait till Wednesday. I've just been watching all the cars come through today. Let's have a look around then. I slept on the back row. But every time I stood up, one of the seats went like that, so... See, so your legs are going in the air. Yeah.
Ce? Is that um, Nissan that I'll send you about? That's cool. <coughs> Cube. It is, it is like an old um, Fiat, isn't it? It does remind me a bit of an old Fiat, but like a modern one. Terrible. It's a bit funky, isn't it? But I mean, I wouldn't, okay. I wouldn't have one. But it's weird, isn't it? It's like a mini G, but you could, you know, like you turn, you turn the MR2s into Ferraris and stuff. Perhaps you could turn that into a G-Wagon. A bit wrong with this one, ain't I say? Yeah. The door's damaged, That's tires right. flat, tire checks there. Tread book flat. Yeah. Lack of pearl on the bumper, big style. Looks like it's been broke down at some point. Is that spare or is it just got uh, No, wheel trim's gone, yeah. And there's a dent up there on the top. Where? It's hard in the light, but there it is. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Someone's head Tripped over whilst we were going to get in the car. Yeah. Shop two back, bags of shopping. No hands. Yeah, two bags of yeah. shopping. Head butt side. Oh, they've done it back. The passenger done it as well. <laughs> There's one on the passenger side, exactly the same place. Yeah, you could be right. You could be right, yeah. <laughs> eh? It's just the right height, isn't it? Yeah. Should it work now? No, I have a bear. I'd have a lump on my head, wouldn't I? On the way back from Aldi? Huh? Little. Little. Two bags up. <laughs> right, what was the no, other one? Normally then? I've got about seven bags. Yeah, it is. You go in for like a bottle of pop and come out with seven bags. Yeah, but I can't. That's why I'm waiting I, half an hour for yeah. you, so I'll be back in two. I don't like taking two trips in the car back to the house, so I have to carry all the bags. Yeah. And then I'm like this. Mm. Right, so what else we got then? Cars. That Fiesta is. <laughs> the have we had a good check over this fiesta? I seen a bit of a scrape. Yeah, it's nothing there. That's nothing, is it? No. Tires are alright. Could I have a second opinion, please? Second opinion. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's all right. Now, what was that? <laughs> Jesus. That's, that's, your head. Do you know what? You've done that the other day. You was worried about that hitting your head. Ow. Look what happened. Sand in there. Huh? I can't believe that, sir. After what you've done the other day, says I'll lit my head on that. I didn't see it, I'm too busy checking tyres. Yeah. I can't believe that. The old fire bucket trick you got you. you test that one? How's your head? That one is all brand new. What's the matter with you? Has that knocked a bit of. <laughs> Has that knocked some out of you, that? Because that tyre's. <laughs> that tyre's brand new, sir. Huh? Asking a second opinion on a brand new tyre. Just your head. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Yeah. <laughs> right, there was three cars that we was looking at. So where's I'm the third one? I've seen that fire bucket there. Huh? I've seen that one down there. There's another one up there. Uh, it was a silver K.A. Yeah, is the other one that we're looking at. So. I thought you'd hit me on the head with the camera. <laughs> I was about to turn around. To launch me. I thought you was about to turn. I was about to turn around. Tell you what. <laughs> fire bucket. Turn the K.A. Tire checks there. Watch out for fire buckets. It's a bit. It's not it's a bit. Right. What's the matter with you? It's You're losing right. the plot. That's a good tyre. I've hit my head. <laughs> that one's a little that's bit suspect. That. Yeah, that one's a bit suspect. 
bit of a lack of peel there. Yeah. That one's all right. It's a little bit slightly tatty, isn't it? This? <clears throat> Which is a shame. Inside looks all right. What you say? Yeah, this is a, this is quite nice, but it's yeah. Yeah, a bit of damage there. Oh, there's, a, there's damage on the door, isn't there? Is there damage on the door? Or is that just the... Uh, it just needs a, a big wash. Look at my hands. Yeah, I know. Look That's at that. Like the same problem. I thought it was a colour, but it's actually just filthy. It's probably a, a, a silver. <laughs> rather than a grey. Because it says silver on the logbook. These are alright, good little sellers as well. These little Fabios. Never looked at that one. 69,000. That's a good little seller. That'd get out, wouldn't it? Probably not. No. No. If you can feel it with your nail, usually that means you ain't going to get it out. All oh, right, that's not coming out then. No. We're full of full of useless information on this channel, aren't we? That bike's definitely going through tonight. It's a GSX. This golf here is a match, and. The retail on this, I looked earlier just seeing if we was interested or not. What do you reckon the retail is on this golf? On 2,000 What would we get for that on the pitch? About eight and a half. No, close but miles Seven. out. It's about a six. Oh, okay. It's about a six thereabouts. It's only one thing cheaper. Yeah, well you may get seven, but um, it's one of them and it? it's but between six and seven. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Which is a bit, well, it's out of our league, isn't it? I'm, on pitch wise. Nice car. Though. Nice car. Uh, a popular car, but you've got to find someone with seven grand, haven't you? Six, you said. Well, six. six between six and seven, but you know, I've changed, I've upped it a little bit because you said one owner, and it's only done about 34,000, isn't it? Yeah. So it's, it's one of them. And it's tidy. You could try and chance your arm. Is there a nail in the tyre? <laughs> she said there's a, there's a nail in the tyre now doing the tyre checks, it was hers. <laughs> yeah. Sounds a bit reluctant that I've noticed to uh, pull in door handles now after the last alarm situation. Yeah, I think you would She's very careful on and seeing if the door opens or not. It's, it's they your, to keep me out last time. Do you know what I'm going to do? It's your mission now to try <laughs> door handles until an alarm goes off. <laughs> on the night, couldn't I? Yeah, 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 you're proper, you're proper uh, balaclava duck. Yeah. You could go around the car parts, couldn't you? No one would ever notice you. No, I just need one to be drives like these hooligans. Yeah, <laughs> the ruffians. Yeah, just sleep in the middle of the night and then you get some random come on your drive. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> scared you then, didn't it? Well, I've seen your face there. Uh, yeah. I should have been standing in front of you. That could have been the thumbnail. No. I have a thumbnail. Yeah, I've already got the thumbnail. Say I hit head on fire bucket. Say it knocks yourself out. Yeah. Sand all over me. <laughs> if you could drop it in the pool, isn't it? I would have had a hair full of sand and you know I don't like sand. No. Right, we're going to clear off from here now and come back in an hour because we're going to go and have something to eat. I'm starving, I'm going to have an escort down. I'm going Yeah, well you have to size them out. That means I've got to eat twice as much. Guess who's here again, look. Nice bit of driving there. Have you been opening doors out there? It sounds like it, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> How's your head? Well, I nearly fell asleep just. I think I got a concussion. Lots of minis. Not me this time, mate. Eh? 
Right, so next up is the red Citroen C1. Now, as we know on this one, there is a, a dent in the passenger door. Uh, there's some lacquer peel on the front bumper and it's missing a wheel trim. That's as far as we can see. There is a little scuff as well on the bumper. Now, this has covered 48,000 miles and it is a 2009. Let's see what it fetches. Now next up, this is the Ford Fiesta 1.2 ZTEC, it's covered 67,000 miles, it's on a 2010 plate and it's three door. It is actually quite a tidy old thing this is, uh, for what it is, and it's got alloy wheels, it looks quite a smart little uh, little motor, ideal for the first time driver, and the paintwork is quite immaculate. Let's see what it fetches. Now next up is the 11 plate Ford K8 in silver, which looks grey because it needs a good wash. Now this has done 41,000 miles, ideal for the first time driver. Let's see what this fetches. Still going. Two, four. That's your worst nightmare when you think it's all over and then people just pop out the woodwork. 24. So what we'll do, we'll, we're going back now and we'll run through all the figures when we're back in the office in the morning. Right, good morning, we're back. Good morning all. The boys are back in town. I'm not a boy. The girls are back in town. Oh, you a girl now? The boys and girls are back in town. I can't get my computer on. What are you doing? I don't know. Is it a fake one? What computer? Yeah. It's like one at Ikea, like. Yeah, you're doing that. Ikea? Yeah. You know, you get to Ikea and you've got that, like, little cheap plastic keyboard that just isn't real. No. No? Okay. Anyway, right, we're back in the office today, <laughs> back on the pitch, and what do you think about last night then, guys? What do you think? What do you, what do you reckon? Um, I think they fetch more money than what I wanted to pay for things. If someone went for the right money, we would have bought one. Yeah, there was a lot of lack of peel on that Citroen C1. The Citroen wasn't was very tatty and it fetched quite good money, so I think I can understand why. I suppose they're sought after cars, aren't they? Somebody's going to make a bit of money on it or they're going to use it for well, themselves. Well, I'd got that down as two and a half grand car, like a 2495. You thought that was going to, somebody was going to so, use it as an Uber car, didn't you? Yeah, I think that's what it would have been. Because the, the difference is where, where we go to auction there, obviously the public are allowed in as well. So every now and again, you will get something go through for quite strong. Mm. Because even though it's not, it's not it's, even though it's still cheap, Yeah. It's still, it's still strong if you wanted to pitch it. Yeah, you're not going to make your so profit, are you? So basically, really? yeah, the 2009... Uh, the 2009 Citroen C1 um, I'd got it down for about a grand and it fetched 1400 plus fees so they're about it's like what, and it's a 2495 car and you've got to repair the lacquer peel on, the, on that on there you need a few dents. you're probably better off getting a second hand door because it's cheaper than repairing it you'll get yeah. a door for 100 quid yeah um, as long as it matches the colour otherwise it's going to look like a patchwork quilt mm. uh, there was some scuffs on the bumper that need repairing it wants a set of wheel trims and... Needed a, think it needed one tyre? think it needed some uh, one tyre and it needed an MOT. Yeah. So you've got like, you, you potentially got 
four or five hundred quid's worth of work to do to it, and you've got a you've got a warranty taxi. Yeah. It's one of them that for us, but obviously if someone wanted it to Uber it, like I said, I'd do a little Uber car in it. Yeah. Right, moving on, the Ford Fiesta on a template. I'd got that down for about a grand again. I don't know why. I, got, I was miles out. That went for 2,100 quid on template. It was a tidy old thing, though. It was tidy. Very, very tidy. Tires were good. Now, what was that? Up between a grand and 1,500 quid, and, but it is what it is, isn't it? It's probably worth... There was a lot of interest in that, though, wasn't there? It's probably worth... Two double nine five, mm. maybe on a template, but you're still pushing it at that. The mileage was right ish, sixty seven thousand miles. I don't. I think that was it. Went for strong money again this week. But sometimes <laughs> these Wednesdays do go for that because because it's a ma ma main dealer. Uh, it's a big main dealer bond shop. I think we had about 100 cars go through last night. I think there was 100 lots. So um, it attracts a lot of attention. Obviously, when you've got a lot of people there, the prices escalate. And that went for quite strong, as far as I'm concerned. Still a cheap car, but uh, it's not for someone who's going to retail it off. Yeah. Yeah? Right. The Ford KA was interesting. I like the colour. It said silver, but it weren't. It was more of a grey. I know it was covered in brake dust or something it was covered in like powder weren't it yeah it was like a thick layer of dust it's like it'd been sat in a workshop for i don't know how long do you know what i mean mm. um on 11 plate i've got that down as 1500 quid and that fetched it i can't fetched. remember what it fetched was it 24 24 2400 quid on 11 plate ki strong mm. very strong yeah that's only a three grand car mm. again so people obviously it's buy. Too far away, that is there. Maybe, maybe. Well, the mileage on it was forty one, so that's on its side. Um, but I can't see really. I don't know. Again, you can't retail it at that. Someone must have bought it for the sales. Mm. Yeah, definitely bought it for themselves. Yeah, um, uh, and that's it. Does attract a lot of public in on on these. Uh, but Wednesdays was yeah. very very busy. Yeah, and I noticed as well. Normally it's like 21, 21, 21, 50, 21, 50, 22, 22. Anyone else in the room? And then it goes boom. But it was like anyone else in the room? 23, 23. And the car was driving off. It was 23, 50, yeah, yeah, 24. Yeah, yeah. And everyone was going mad. Like why? You said at the end, didn't you, with the um, yeah, the yeah. Out, it's still still, still going. going as the car's gone. Like the car's and the people, whoa, <laughs> stop. <Yeah. laughs> Do you know what I mean? So you want it though, you want the amateur to go down quick, call it 23, bang, that's it, they next car. Flying through yesterday. People, people were, people were popping their hand up every, left, right and centre, so fair play to them, that's, if that's what they want to do, it's, you know what I mean? But like I say, public, that is still a bargain for them. Mm. They've got a cheap car, Yeah. but you ain't going to make no money as a, as a, as a pinch, are you? No. So, anyway, right, got to cut you short there now, we're going to have to shoot off because we've got a lot to do today, busy old day, we've got... Plenty of stuff that you're going to see in the next video, so don't go anywhere. Next video is out on Tuesday. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave us a comment down below. And until then... <laughs> Take a breath, will you? We'll see you next time. On the next one. See you on the next one.